Hi guys, Frostfangs here, and welcome back once again to another Gigantic video. Today we're going to be taking a look at the new character who has just been added to Gigantic. He's called Oru, and he's a caster, as you can see, he's ridiculously offensive. Not really defensive at all, not got that much mobility, I don't think he's actually got any, and he's he's got a little bit of utility. So, he's got skins already, I'll show you those in a second, but we're going to go over the skills first, and as you can see, his design there. Really cool, I love the art style of Gigantic in general, and this... This looks good to me. So you've got your basic attack, which is Judgment. Throw a Judgment card at target enemy. Now, the kit's explained kind of weirdly, but it's essentially you can throw a bunch of triggers on people, and when you use another ability, you can activate those, and each Judgment card um, deals 250 damage. I think they can actually only have one. Yeah, they can only have one. But on hit, it actually inflicts Judgment and Burning, which is 30 damage over 3 seconds. Now... Uh, okay, now his right click, the beast, toss a spread of three the beast cards, on hit, inflict the beast and slow, so it's essentially that's just a slow, but then if you combo your basic attack and that with your E, we're going to skip the Q for a second, cosmic power, damages target area and reveals cards held by enemies, so those cards that you just gave the enemies then get triggered if they have judgment, which means if they were hit with your basic they get 250 damage, I'm sure his, his leveling stuff will be able to buff that, I don't know, I haven't actually tried him yet. And if they have the beast, it dazes them for a second. So that's mainly a slow and a daze. And your basic attack is obviously a damage, and that E is your trigger. So Q is a bit of a trap card. Place three cards as a row of traps at your feet. They last for eight seconds. On trigger, this is whenever they walk over them, I suppose. 150 damage and pushes them away. Only hits unique targets once. So those are his abilities. His ultimate, Death Dealer. I mean, the art style for these as well is super, super cool. I'm really excited to actually give him a go. He's so happy as well. So, rapidly toss death cards. Once completed, reveal all cards dealt. Deals 400 damage and 2, 4, and 8, depending on how much focus you have, if target is below 50% health. So, it's essentially a ridiculous amount of burst. You've got a lot of damage there. You've got quite a bit of utility, and it's all, it's all kind of triggered damage. So, you actually get to choose when you activate it, which is cool. There's also custom games now. They've changed a few other things. You can read the patch notes if you want on their website. Apparently, I was also pronouncing his name wrong. Thank you guys for letting me know. So, let's do Oru. Uh, yeah, let's just queue. I like the fact that I can actually just queue with him, so that I know I'm gonna get him for sure. My queue might take a little bit longer, but now I don't have to fight to try and pick the new character, which is awesome. Um, I'll probably just cut to him actually in-game. I'm sure you guys don't want to see me just sat here queuing, but I'm really, really excited. Uh, this is like my first time playing Gigantic and there being a new character added, because I joined in when Ramsey was already here, and now we actually, we've actually got Oru. Oro deals in fate and the future. The Eternal sees no reason why simple cards should be met with apprehension. Shit's deep. Wow. Okay. So actually, actually, I just forgot. Let's go through the skins. We've got some time whilst I queue. I might as well show you the skins. Wait, did you just Did you just make a sound? What sound does he make when you pick him? Oh, hi. Hi. Oh, that voice. Hi, hi. I don't know. Greetings. He's got such a cool voice. This is Trips. Okay, that, that matches her character design. Hello there. That's kind of like what I expected him to sound like anyway. And again, he's got tiny little feet, but a fucking huge upper body. I love the art style for this game. So, you've got the Seer. Okay. You've got Void Dweller. Man, these are cool. Okay, now these are the big ones. These are the 750 gems. Oh, so he gets like a little bit of a... Oh, man, that's cool. That's my favorite, the green one. So that's him by default, which does look cool. I love the black and the, the darker blues and stuff. But you, you change it to that, it's like a completely different character and the weapon different. So that just changes his little spinny thing in the cards. Yeah, that okay, so that's what that changes. I actually kind of like the Void Dweller one. I think if I, if I like him, I might actually pick that one up. Oh, the default one's so cool, though. Anyway, let's just let's just jump to when we're in-game. It's my first time trying him, so I've got no idea how this is going to be. I have no idea what his leveling scheme is, so I'm actually just going to have to, um... I have to just look at it now when we get into the game. So we've got a Tito. T Tito. Tito? I think it's Tito, not Tito. I'm saying it because I live in Spain, so I just assumed it was Tito. Uh, we've got a Trip. We've got a Beckett. We've got a Voden. All right, pretty nice team. We don't really have a tank, though. I'm a caster, so I'm meant to be able to throw stuff and deal magical, awesome damage things. Building teams. Alright, so we are going against a Beckett, a Charnock, a Trip, an Aisling? Ainsling? I think it's Ainsling. I'm not sure. And a HK. Okay, so I'm going to have to just pick what I'm going to level first. Uh, what have we got? Let's level our basic attacks. Judgment is freshly applied. Uh, deal 25% damage up front if target already has Judgment. That seems really good. 
Uh, at close range, also push away. Throw two more cards at a wider angle. Perform judgment 15% faster, 25% max stamina. When triggered, now launches. You can place cards at a distance. None of those seem really that good. Revealing judgment cracks armor. Revealing the beast now inflicts stun. We're actually going to go for deal 25% more damage up front if they already have it. Oh, his sprint is so cool. I really like it. It feels a little bit jerky going left to right. That feels a little bit weird. But other than that, that looks really cool. I got another level now, haven't I? Fuck. Um, if target already has judgment, the beast cooldown is reduced. Let's just go for the deal 50% damage up front. So that's what it's like, and you don't have to reload, so you can consistently throw them. Wow, it's really well animated. I, I'm liking this so far. It's going to take me a while to get used to it, so I'm probably going to suck this game. Keep that in mind. I don't know if there's a range on it, but... Oh, so you can see really clearly the cards. I'm just going to keep wailing on him. Let's just... Inf Wait, what did I just do? Oh, he's dead. Okay. Don't know why he tried to run through the sea. I'm just getting used to it right now. Sorry, I'm, I'm going to be really, really bad. Uh, okay, so that's the trap. Throw two more cards. Inflicts bleeding? Let's do that. So just throw two more cards. It's pretty wide. The so that's the trap, is it? This is so cool! I don't know. I'm, I, I, th I feel like I'm being really nerdy right now, but this is so cool. I thought this was a... Uh, I thought, by the way, that E that just activated everything. It's not. You have to actually, like, throw it on people still. Let's keep that in mind. How do I cancel this? I don't know how to cancel it. Can I can how do you cancel abilities? Right, let's just throw it. So you actually do have to throw it to activate it. Like I can't just hit E and it activates the cards on everybody. You have to like throw it as well, if that makes sense. Let's summon somebody. Oh man, I really like it. It's, it's reminding me of Kingdom Hearts. I don't know why. I also feel like he crafts stuff really quickly. Oh my god, look at this. They feel there's actually wait, is there auto lock? They auto lock. So there's like a little bit of um, assistance on the aim, which is nice. Now inflicts bleeding. Sure. The weakness one's probably stronger, but I want to actually just deal a ton of damage. I'm really, really liking him so far. His jump's super spongy. Uh, let's take him down. Here we go. The R is just what's grabbing me right now. Yeah, there's definitely some aim assist for sure. You do have to still aim it pretty closely, but there's quite a big amount of aim assist. Oh, no. Trap cards. That didn't really work. I'm probably dead here. Okay. Okay, I'm still getting used to it. I'm still getting used to it, so I have a good excuse. Attack the boss when they fight? Yeah, okay, Tito, I know. I know how it works. I'm just playing the new character, so it's taking me a little while. Do they even have one? Nobody's playing the new character? Nobody's playing Oru on their team? Like how the orb spins in the middle when you're actually, like, running. Okay, let's go, actually. Let's go to D. Let's do that. I want to do the ultimate one more time. I'm not sure exactly how it works, though, so I'm probably going to, like, miss it the first time. Let's just, let's just give it a go. E. There's the card activation. There's the bleed. Trap card. What happens if somebody's actually on it? Can I throw them up like this and still get them to hit people? Kind of? Not really, though. Uh, what's it want me to upgrade now? Uh, the Joker duration increase. Trap duration increase. The beast now pierces through enemies. Target areas increased. And during Clash, it's got less cooldown. Oh, let's go for Cut the Deck, just because it sounds cool. And that's also... That inflicts stun. I'm doing them in the wrong order, aren't I, as well? Uh, man, I'm not used to this. Okay, let's make it crack armor. That seems to make more sense. So I should be throwing the beast like that, then eating. Okay. I need to get, like, more accurate with this. I'm not used to it yet. A lot of tick damage, though. Let's put the trap down there. I don't know if they can see them. I'm guessing they can't, but they might be able to. Okay, that's annoying me. Get off me, please. Wow, you have a lot more health than I thought. Oh, I need to run. No, Trip, please. I have a family. Trip, Oro has a family. Don't be mean to him. He's new. He's a new character. He's, he's not used to being in this realm. I'm dead here. I'm very dead. Might as well go out with a fight, eh? Is she dead? Trip's actually nearly gone. I don't think I, I, don't think I killed her, though. Okay, Voden got a nice. Um, man, I need to know what to upgrade, don't I? Uh, judgment also hits nearby allies. Judgment breaks armor. Judgment breaks armor. So we're going for like a weird build right now, just because again this is my first time playing them, so it's probably not the right thing to do. But I'm just I'm just going with what I think's right, and it's probably not. Let's go summon something. Uh, build gates. Sure. I really like that casting. Unless they've changed how long it takes to summon stuff, I'm pretty sure he summons things faster. I think that's probably just more of a wide thing, a general thing. Let's put traps here. 
Did she just trigger that? I'm not sure. I missed. Okay, let's run. Let's run. Go over to near the beast that I just summoned, please. Help me. Help me, Cyclops. Uh, I want to put a trap down, like, here. Okay. I should be... All but two of you have fallen, I just heard? That's never good, is it? Let's run around this way. Killed by teammate? Nice. Okay, so I need to do my basic, and then I need to throw my right click, and then I need to E. That's the right order to do it in, isn't it? Oh, shit. I was trying to level stuff. Uh, don't know how my ult works. Oh, it just, like, spams cards? Okay. I was not sure how that was going to work. Rapidly toss death cards once completed, reveal all cards dealt. Okay, so I, I used that completely wrong. That was my bad. I wasn't sure how it was going to work, okay? Probably should have spent my focus first. Um, also applies the beast when triggered, when triggered cosmic power cooldown is reset. Let's level our uh, judgment 15% faster. Ah, that's great. That's exactly what I wanted. Oh, that's way better. I should have got that sooner. We're attacking. This isn't really because of me. It's more because of my team, but I'll take some credit. She's dead. Nice, I got that kill. Sick. That was all me. E. There we go. Cracked armor. Fuck him up. Fuck him up. It actually deals pretty freaking heavy damage. We're chasing him down, Charnock. You ain't getting away, son. I think if you aim it and they move, it chases them. That's what it is. He's dead. He's got to be dead, right? He's so low. Oh my god. Somebody kill him, please. Trap card. Perfect place to place the trap. I'm just going to kill this Beckett real quick. There we go. Okay, I like him. He's good. He's probably not the best character, but he definitely isn't bad. Now is the time to ult. Now is the time to ult, right? I, I didn't get what happened there at all. That was really confusing. I think it locks on to a character? Because there was like a weird outline before I used it. But it doesn't say that anywhere. So maybe there is or maybe there isn't. Yeah, it doesn't say that there is, like, a lock-on or anything. So, I, I don't know. I don't understand the all. Everything else is making sense to me now. Uh, again, keep in mind that this is my first game. So, I'm not going to be very good. Let's place a trap down there. I don't really feel like I need to be able to throw those at all. Charnock, did you not learn the last time you went in the water? It doesn't turn out well. There's my E. Cards are revealed. Man is dead. Okay, I do like Onu. Oru? It's Oru. Uh, successfully revealing judgment and the beast gives additional focus. Card duration increased. Let's get the additional focus. That seems like it's just a generally good upgrade to have. Trap card. I can see Trip's outline just like a little bit. Can't see exactly where she is though. There she is. Can I just peg her with one? That would be enough to kill her to be honest. She is dead. There we go. That really wasn't my kill but we'll take it. Oh shit. Somebody's knocking me up. Trap card. Good place to put it there, actually. Uh, let's go get a kill. I see you, HK. Can I reach you here? No, you're just out of range. So there is a, a limited range on them. It's quite long, but it's still it's still a range that's not massive. Let's kill this Cyclops. So you can pay cards even on them. Whoa, that was weird. That was weird. Don't really know what happened there. There we go. That did something. Okay, I think the ult locks on. No, it doesn't. It doesn't. Okay. I kind of understand how it works a little bit better. I think there is some sort of lock on, but it's like a it's like a vague lock on if that makes sense. If I'm getting anything wrong, please just tell me in the comments. I'm playing this like the day he comes out properly, so I'm pretty sure he came out today or either yesterday when I'm recording this. Trap cart. I don't even know if they can see them. I'm guessing they can't cuz it wouldn't make sense if they could. There, reveal it. Fuck him up. Fuck him up. Come on. Come on. She's nearly dead. She's nearly dead. She's dead. She's got to be. There we go. Get out of there, son. All right. I'm getting the hang of it now, slowly. Slowly but surely. Trap card. Run away. Just in case there was someone chasing me. Uh, what are we upgrading now? We've got to upgrade this. Okay. Place cards at a distance. Let's make it so that it launches them. That seems like it makes sense, I suppose. We really should go push the middle, though, right? We are winning pretty heavily, so I guess it doesn't matter. I wonder if the, the trap cards can be triggered by beasts. Creatures, not freaking beasts. There we go. It deals pretty heavy damage if you get that combo properly. She's nearly dead. So let's see the ult. Oh, it does lock on. Okay, so, so it picks a character. We just killed someone. Um, I'm pretty sure we killed the Beckett. 
Uh, yeah, we did. So it locks onto a character, and then it fires at that character, and you just have to be pointing in, in the general direction, I'm pretty sure. I really like Oru so far. i definitely give him a go. Definitely not like a throwaway character or anything. Okay, so that pushed Trip really far away. Holy shit, like that knock-up was massive. But I see why they've given it, given it quite a limited range, because or else you'd just sit here all day. <laughs> I mean, I did just get a kill, but either that was an assist, I can't really tell. Oh, there we go. That worked. All right, we did somebody there too. Fucking nice. I'm liking this so far. Uh, what do I want to get? When triggered cosmic powers cooldown reset the beast. Yeah, let's make it so it also applies to the beast. Might as well. It's a nice slow. Can I put my Q down? There we go. That was being really weird. Oh, man. I need to get to safety. Let's go run back to our little base. I know we're attacking, but I need to live, so we're just going to run away first. There's freaking Ainsling's thing again. It's pretty freaking hard to kill. It's got like the same health as a person. Come back. Go back to your bit so I can heal off you. Thank you. It looks like we're gonna win without even having our, uh, our big creature even hit once, which is pretty damn good. That was a misplay by me. Didn't mean to do that. Again, I'm new. I'm new. That's my excuse. I'm new. Cooldowns are pretty lengthy, understandably so. His abilities are super strong. There we go. That slow is ridiculous. Let's run. I want to try the ultimate again. I want to try and do it properly now that I kind of have a better idea of what, how it works. Let's go heal up off the Cyclops and then we'll do it. I think it's meant to be used as like a finishing ability though more than anything. Wow, trip. Okay. Cards are down. Fight me, son. There we go. And we're safe. Did quite a bit of damage. Go E. Attack this boss, please. Dude, we're winning really heavily. You have no need to worry. Did she just, did she just jump off the map in an attempt to go around? Nice one, Beckett. Thanks for the free kill. Right now, I am 10 to 3, so I'll take that. There we go. Holy shit. We are fucking her up, to be honest. I'm chasing her down. Mark him. Oh, man. Okay, I get how that works. That is fucking awesome. And then it triggers afterwards. So you apply a bunch of cards. Yeah. So rapidly toss death cards once completed. Reveal all cards dealt. Deal 400 damage. And then, oh wow. Okay, so I get how it works now. I understand. That's really cool. And there is like a sort of lock-on thing where you get to choose your target. But when it's super hectic, that's really hard to actually see what's going on. Yo. There we go, he's dead. Holy shit, I'm loving Oru right now. Oh, that hurt. Just applying burning everywhere. I wonder what would have happened if you went the other route, though, with the basic attacks. I'm actually going to go check. Let's place that down there so they can't actually be avoided. Some of them are on the sides for some reason. That needs to be uh, fixed a little bit, I reckon. Oh, it's vulnerable? Oh, wow. Okay, I didn't even realize. I want to see what happens if you go this way. Oh, I can't? I want to see what happens if you pick that one. What, what other two options you get. It didn't seem like the, the better choice, but I'm just interested to know what it actually would have done. There we go, that's game. Holy shit. Holy shit, the new character. Match complete, there we go. I really, really like him. I've got to say, Oru is like, is up there for me. I'm really glad I gave him a go. And thank you guys as well for telling me in the comments of the last video to give him a go when he released, because man, I really like him. We didn't have the highest efficiency, but we did have 12 kills to freaking three deaths, which is pretty good. He, he is definitely um, a damage character, as it said on his little card where you can see offense, defense, and stuff. He was rated very highly for offense, which makes a lot of sense. Doesn't seem like he'd be that good at damaging the Guardian, but that's fine. I don't think there's actually any caster who's designed to do that. They're more designed to kill people, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, wow. I, I really like him. I'd like to hear your opinion in the comment section down below. Let me know what you think about him. I'll see you guys all very, very soon. Leave a like if you did enjoy, and as always, stay frosty.